Okay, so no messing about here. Straight to the command line of our Ubuntu host. Now, in order to facilitate the demos here, I've cleaned things up a bit by binning any local images and containers that we've created and used previously in the course. Well, clearly I'm lying actually, as it's showing five images, or probably five image layers. Yeah, so just a local copy of the Ubuntu 1504 base image that I pulled locally for us to use in this demo. And if we do Docker images again, but this time with tree on the end, yeah, we can see that it's comprised of one, two, three, four, five image layers, matching what we saw with the Docker info output. Anyway, let's switch into plural site, where I've got a ready-made Docker file. But we're not going to look at the Docker file just yet. In this demo, we're just going to do a build from it. So, docker build, and we'll tag it build1. Off it goes. Now, as we can see, it's doing a bunch of work here. But, for what we're learning here, there's no benefit to us just sitting around here watching this fascinating information scroll by. The point is, it's doing a bunch of work, pulling files locally, building file systems and the likes. As long as we get that, that's all we need to know. So, let me just bend a bit of space-time and land us back here once it's all done. OK, we're back. The build's complete. Suffice to say, it took about a minute, just a little bit more. So, bonus! There's a minute of extra life I've just given you. How's about that for value for your money from Pluralsight? Nice one. Anyway, let's run the same command again, only this time we'll tag it as build2. Whoa! That was even faster than my bending space time trick. So what's the deal? What happened different this time? I mean, we specified the same Docker file and we performed the same build. Yeah, we changed the tag, but that's neither here nor there. Something different clearly happened behind the scenes. Well, that thing behind the scenes is called the build cache. And it works like this. Basically, when we build a new image, the Docker daemon iterates through our Docker file, executing each instruction. As each instruction gets executed, the daemon checks to see whether or not it's got an image for that instruction already in its build cache. Because if it does, it can save a bunch of work and a bunch of time for us. Now, what the daemon basically does, it looks at our base image, and then it looks at all child images that it's got linked or associated with that base image. And it checks to see if any of them was built with the same instruction that it's about to execute. If it was, marvellous! It just uses the image from the cache and it creates a new link. If there isn't one that was built with the same instruction, then it's off to the build room to do some work to build it. And we'll definitely come back to this later and maybe get a little bit deeper, but that should be good for us for now. If we keep building new images or layers in images, and we've already got those new layers in our build cache, we get super fast builds. And when operating at scale, that save time can add up and be useful. Anyway, coming up next we're going to peek under the hood in relation to image layers and Docker file instructions. See you there.